This should be the guest of honor's room. Time to see who's inside. Excuse me. <gasps> I had a feeling it was you, but I didn't dare to hope. It's really me. I'm so glad you're safe. I'm so sorry that you had to go through all of this. If I hadn't been so weak and careless, none of this would have happened. You mustn't apologize. Simply being able to see you again is more than I could have hoped for. You must have been really lonely. I'm here for you now, though. I might not be the most reliable person for the job. But I'm not going anywhere. So that's what you've been doing all this time? Yeah. I was happy all of us were able to get back together again. But then yesterday, I ended up being invited onto the ship by Duke Cayenne. That's why I'm here, talking to you. I do recall thinking things were a little noisier than usual yesterday. Now I know why. <laughs> Strange as it may sound, I suppose I owe the Duke my thanks. After all, if not for his invitation, we wouldn't have been able to find each other like this. Sorry. I wish I could say I'd snuck on board to rescue you or something. Incidentally, I hesitate to ask, but... You want to know where Elise is, right? She's not on this ship, I'm afraid. I can't say for sure, but I believe she's been taken to the same place as my parents. Really? I'm sure it isn't news to you that my mother, father, and Cedric have been imprisoned somewhere. And apparently, they've chosen Elise to be my family's attendant. So it's likely wherever they've been taken, she's right there with them. Really? I'm not sure whether to feel relieved or what. <laughs> I can hardly blame you. I feel exactly the same way, even. But why were you alone imprisoned on this airship? Surely there must be some reason. That was Duke Cayenne's decision. I believe he's using me to suppress potential rebellion in areas occupied by the Alliance. By having me address the people and calm them down. Forgive me for saying so, but that's a little messed up, using you like that. I don't especially mind doing it, honestly. It's a simple enough task. People all across Erebonia are uneasy about this war, 
And as princess, I should do what's within my power to help calm their nerves. But at the expense of your own feelings? I know you want to help, but you can't be happy about being used as the Alliance's puppet to deceive them. Plus, you've been forcibly separated from your family, your best friend. You don't even know where they are. Yes, but... Oh, why even bother? You see through everything, don't you, Reen? Anyway... Putting my feelings aside, uh, what do you plan to do now? I presume you don't intend to actually do whatever Duke Cayenne tells you to. Well... I'm really not sure what to do. The longer this war goes on, the more people will suffer because of it. But even so, I don't feel as though siding with the Noble Alliance is the right course of action. And the same goes for the Imperial Army. I can't in good conscience side with them either. I see. There's so much to think about. You're being used as a puppet against your will? And then Elise is imprisoned somewhere, too, being forced to do who knows what. I have to act somehow to change things. That wasn't your fault, Reen. Ever since I was taken in by my family all those years ago, I've tried to be a brother figure to her. I became the person I am today because of them. They've always loved me like they would a real son, and she's always treated me like a real older brother. You saw that power of mine, didn't you? And what I look like when I use it? Well, um... Yes, I did. Back when I was a kid, something just like that happened. I ended up using it right there in front of her. She should have been terrified of me, but if she was, she never once let it show. She treated me exactly the same as before. And that was when I swore, deep within my heart, no matter what happened, no matter what I had to do, I would always protect her. And that's why I can't help but wonder. I can't help but wonder if now's the time to live up to that promise, if I should put her before everything else. Even if I have to ignore or outright betray my own personal beliefs in the process. Reen. As your honorary little sister, I order you to get a hold of yourself! What? It, your Highness... I know Elise far better than you think I do. In fact, I'd even go as far as to say I know her better than you! Reen, she's already told me so much about what happened eight years ago. She told me about how that snowy day was what inspired you to take up the sword. She told me how traumatic that moment was for you. 
Somehow what happened stays with you even now. And she even told me that, while she hated how she felt, she felt the tiniest bit happy because of it. Because it meant that your attention, your guilt, and your sense of responsibility were directed towards her and no one else. And she knew more than anyone how selfish that was. <laughs> she may have had other reasons for choosing to go to St. Astraya. But her main reason was that she didn't want you to keep feeling guilty because of her. More than anything else, she wanted to free you of your burdens. <sighs> you should know, when you joined Thor's and were making new friends, and you finally seem to be moving forward? She felt a little jealous, and even a little lonely at being left behind. But she was so very, very happy for you too. So please, Reen. Please, don't use Elise to justify not choosing your place in this war. Because I know for a fact, she wants you, of all people, to carve your own path and find true happiness. I... How can I have been so blind? All this time I thought I was trying to protect her, and it's been the other way around since the start. And that's not just true for her either. Mom, Dad, Master Kafai. All my friends at Thor's? They've been supporting me this whole time. How could I have missed something so obvious? I think I finally understand what I've been lacking inside of me all this time. I was so focused on trying to protect others, I never stopped to think about how relationships go both ways. Others try to support me just like I try to support them, and I have as much of an effect on them as they do on me. How did I not realize before now? I'm sorry, Master. I think you gave me that intermediate scroll a bit too soon. What? Better to realize late than never, I suppose. Because now I finally feel like I'm ready. As long as I keep that fact in mind, I won't lose control again. Fine. I've got you to thank for that. Forget honorary. You sounded just like my real sister for a minute. So, thank you. <sighs> I think it's time we get going. I wouldn't want to keep my classmates waiting any longer than I already have. A pity, but you're right. <laughs> I 
I was rather hoping we could stay like this a little while longer. But I suppose all good things have to come to an end. Take care of yourself, Reen. I'll leave Elisa's rescue to you. No matter what it takes, please... Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> I said it's time we get going, didn't I? There's no way I'm leaving my sister's best friend imprisoned in a place like this. I will get the two of us off this ship, so stay close to me. Valimar, uh, the Ashen Knight, is on the deck. He's chained up there, but if we can get to him, I'm sure we can find some way to use him to get away from here. First, though, we need to find a way to get out of this part of the ship without anyone noticing. All right, then. <laughs> I never imagined I'd be running away from here with you at my side. Elise is going to be so envious. <laughs> anyway, let's get... strong people here, so try to keep your voice down. <laughs> Not to worry.
thought so. It's a vent. Well, that's convenient. Might it lead to somewhere else on the ship, you think? Most likely. Still, I can't very well ask a princess to crawl through a vent. Nonsense, Reen. Of course you can. I'm ready to begin our great escape. But it's going to be all dark inside. And probably filthy, too. A little bit of darkness and dirt never hurt anyone. I had to travel through some fairly narrow underground passages when escaping from Heimdall, too. Alright, how about I go first? I'm smaller than you, after all. No, definitely not. <clears throat> well, as long as you're alright with it. But I'll be going first. Like I said before, just stay close to me. Hmm. Alright then. Oh, <sighs> you'd think a princess would be more mindful when she's wearing a dress. I'm surprised. It's not dirty at all in here. Maybe it's because the ship's newly built? area then. Looks like we're in the clear for that part of the ship, at least. My, that was intense! It's like I've stepped right into the world of one of those spy novels that are so popular these days. <laughs> anyway, here's hoping we can make it to the deck without getting caught. What is it? Soldiers are coming this way. Keep a safe distance and let me handle this. Huh. <sighs> <sighs> It feels like the closest thing we have to someone ordinary around here is that kid. It's pretty nerve-wracking having to be around them all. I just wish I could get to see Princess Alfin in person. Oh. What? Huh? Too late! Now's our chance! Let's get him! Here I go! Yeah! My turn! Bam! Ha! Ha! Huh! Here I go! Bam! Ha! Ha! Right! Ha! Ha! Huh! Here I go! Second form! Ha! Gale! Gladly! My turn! Uh, huh. Gladly! Let's move! Ha. Okay, it's safe for now. No! Oh, they're strong! You all right, Your Highness? Yes, I'm fine. Thanks. Let's be going. I'll be sure to stay very close to you. Good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Here we go. Excited. Let's take him out. Let's move. Called archaisms. through the windows would be an option. Probably not. We'll have to do this the long way. Sit! Bring it on! My turn! There they are! Recover the princess! 
Woohoo! Two soldiers, one military monster. Shouldn't be a problem. Stay back, please. Great! Good luck, Green! Here I go! you are with arts. You are? <laughs> You're so sweet. My turn. Second floor. Damn! Now's our chance. Your Highness! Understood! Six! Oh, Green! My hero! <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. My turn! Ha! 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 Good luck, Green! My turn! Ha! Now's our chance! Ha! Gladly! Argus, activate! Ha! My turn! Here I go! Sit! That's the power of the eight leaves. Oh, look! A staircase! Hopefully this will lead to the deck. <laughs> 